Haemophiliacs were always lab rats. And they'll understand why. It doesn't mean non haemophiliacs weren't put in the line of fire knowingly. From what I've seen, it's arguable that the whole of this scandal, Hep B, Hep C, Hep E, and to some extent CJD, is a knowingly man made event if you take on the concept of motorway medicine. Motorway medicine is basically a surgeon goes to a hospital with a high level of fractures because he wants to become the best orthopaedic surgeon in the world. But after working there for three months he becomes aware that one particular bend on one particular road is returning 70% of his patients. The question, at what point do you become a safety campaigner for roads rather than an ambitious surgeon making your career on broken bones? It's a good one isn't it?